Hello, good evening. My name is Belle and I am here to read you a bedtime story. The story that we're going to be reading tonight is Beauty and the Beast. It's a story about me, Beauty. This is the story of Belle. Belle was smart and she loved to read. Belle carried books everywhere. She read about far off places. Like always, Belle bought bread from a baker. Every day was the same in the small village. She longed for something more. The villagers did not understand Belle. They said she was different. Belle held her head high. She was brave. Have you ever been called different? How did that make you feel? I hope that you chose to be brave. Belle was also kind. She gave her bread and jam to a beggar. Villagers saw Belle reading. They called her odd. What is odd about reading? I love to read. Belle tried to ignore the villagers, but she wondered if they were right. A man named Gaston saw Belle. Gaston was a rude brute. His best friend was LeFou. That's Gaston right there. And that's LeFou. Gaston thought Belle was beautiful, but he only wanted to marry her for her looks. Gaston asked Belle to dinner, and Belle said no. He did not see Belle for the beauty that was within her. Belle hoped one day someone would understand her. She longed for something more. Belle talked with her father, Maurice. He told Belle that she was fearless and daring. Maurice told Belle to ignore the villagers. He loved that his daughter was different. Belle loved her father very much. He made her feel like she belonged. He and his horse, Philippe, were leaving for the market. Belle said goodbye. The next day, Philippe returned to the village, but Maurice was nowhere to be found. Philippe's reins were torn and Belle knew that something was wrong. She set out to find her father. Clues led Belle into a strange and dark castle. She had a feeling her father must be inside, but she did not know what else she would find. Belle was smart and brave and kind. She soon found out that the castle was enchanted and her fairy tale was about to begin. Ooh, so that's just the very beginning of my story. This book and many other Beauty and the Beast stories are available here at the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library if you would like to borrow them and take them home. I thank you so much for joining me and letting me come and read to you tonight. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening and sleep tight, sweet dreams.